All right, you're good. Okay. As I said before, um, everybody just say to, say your name so Monica can get attendance, please, before we start. Bev Kennedy. Richard. Grace Richard Denley. Betty Ann Peck. Tommy Dunbar. Jim Cortella. Doug Thomas. Okay, I think we, we have we have got everybody we're gonna get. Um, so call the meeting to order. It is seven seven twenty by my watch. And we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. Allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United States of America. Okay, thank you everybody. We had a little bit of technical difficulties as everybody knows, but uh, I guess we're on track. Uh, that said, I do not believe we need any alternates. I think everybody has signed in. Uh, Public comment. I don't know if anyone is on for public comment, but we'll offer it up once. We'll offer it up twice. And we'll offer it up three times. Hearing none, we'll close under public comment. Approval of the minutes. Monica has sent out the minutes of the February 25th regular meeting that we uh, that we had. Uh, I will, hopefully everybody has read through what's what and does anybody have any uh, edits, changes, corrections? If not, I will take a motion to accept. So moved, Richard Demko. Second, Second John please. Stoma. Second okay. John Stoma. Discussion? All those in favor, is, please, please say your name when you vote so Monica will know. I, Richard Devko. I, Kwame Dunbar. I, Beth Kennedy. I, I Beth Kennedy. I, Jim Cotella. Any, any no? Anyone voting no? Anyone abstaining? And the chair, Bill Sawicki, votes aye to accept. Okay. Uh, Kurt won't be calling in tonight because there's really nothing that we have not gone over with him through the budget hearings. I'll, uh, I'll turn it over to Doug for his report from the finance director. So Doug, you're on. Um, okay. Uh, you know, obviously the, the finance department's been pretty quiet. The payroll continued to go on out without any problems. Uh, the payables are still going out. Um, the spending is down overall everywhere. Uh, except for town buildings, the janitors are doing a uh, great job cleaning up. They make sure they clean up and sterilize everything every day and they're putting in some extra overtime. Uh, the software training is kind of going slow. Lori is still out on workers' comp. And so uh, with with the, both the virus and Lori being out, we uh, decided to uh, put off the live date to uh, August 1st, which really shouldn't be too big of a problem since July is not a real busy month for the for the next fiscal year. Um, other than that, that's that's pretty much it. So I, you're you're still running the financials through the uh, the system you've got the Peachtree. Oh yes, yeah. Okay. And I would assume then, if August 1st is the live date, uh, I would expect that from July through, let's say at least the end of November, you're gonna run dual systems, just to make sure everything is coming out the way it should come out. Because you can't abandon one system totally until we're real, real comfortable with the numbers we have from the new system. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do, um 
uh, the, what do you call that, uh, in sync? Parallel. Parallel. Yeah, you're running, you're running in parallel. Uh, Doug has provided some information on the private duty collections, I guess. And it looks like... Yeah, uh, cool. Guys, one of those was uh, put out twice. Yeah, I saw one that. Of, yeah, it has a deposit slip, and the other one doesn't. So the March the March fifth, twenty twenty, uh, collections were sixty thousand that we put in the bank. If I'm reading this correctly. Correct. And on November fourteenth, we had a thirty thousand dollar deposit. Correct. Okay, Doug, where do we stand with how much is owed as of as of the meeting today? Um, I don't have an exact figure. I haven't uh, updated the the database. I can get that number from Nadia, but I believe it's at least down to a hundred thousand, if not less. Well, it, ha it hasn't moved that much. I mean, it seems like we're just staying current because wasn't it hanging around a hundred? It does. It no. appears that it's like hanging around a hundred all the time. And am I correct in that, or am I making a bad assumption? At uh, December 30th, it was 162. Okay. No. So it's it's gone down, you know, at least six, well, ninety thousand dollars. So. Uh, for our next for our next meeting, Doug. What I want is essentially uh, a worksheet or however you do it, starting with the July 1st balance. And I don't need each invoice that's been sent out, but I want to know for the month of, for each month, what was the total amount billed and what was the total amount collected and deposited so that our next meeting is towards the uh, end of May at the 26th, I believe. So as of the 26th, I would like an accurate total count of what's owed as of April 30th. So on our May 26th meeting, I'd like to get a worksheet starting July 1 of uh, 19. And I, as I said, we don't need the, the printout of the general ledger account, but if you can summarize the total billings, and the total collection. So we'll have one entry for billing and one for collection every month so that we can see at the end of April what is owed. And if you can also give us a list then of the individual companies that make up what's owed at the end of April. Okay. Okay, any other, any other questions for the uh, finance director on anything? This is John. Are we going to do also a um, stipulation that any further private duty would have to be paid within a certain amount of days, or is that something that has to go through another means? That would so they won't that be. Would, a, uh, to my knowledge, John, that will be through. That would have to be through the board of selectmen because they set fees and rates in the town. Okay. I mean, it's a it's a it's a nice thought, but on the flip side, if you're dealing with companies, the big utility companies, and and big tree companies and things. I don't know how logistically practical it would be to have them come in, do their work, and before they leave, hand the town a check. I just don't know if that would be workable because my guess is no, what? All, the, all the checks come out of a, obviously whatever finance department they have. And I, I would, I'm pretty sure that the utilities work that way, that the, the linesmen or the tree cutters or whatever title they have, they're not going to be the ones handing checks out because their company wouldn't want that. But um, it, it's a fair assumption to see about, and I can, ask, I can ask the selectmen this, a policy in terms of what's the expectation on payment? Is it 30 days? Yeah, I wasn't, days? I wasn't looking at an immediate payment. I was looking at more a stipulation that has to be done within three months, six months. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's a, so that's that's a fair hanging. question. I can, I can broach that question with the selectmen. Uh, but in terms of like setting contracts and rates and payments, it falls in their purview, but I can still, I can certainly inquire on that. Okay. I would appreciate that. Sure. Okay. Any other, other questions? I'm just scribbling some notes. That's why you hear a little bit of dead air. 
I have one question, Betty and Peck. Go ahead. Doug, when you're printing these reports, and I appreciate you sending all of them, but if you take, for example, stuff like the general fund and the monthly summary, okay. can, you, can you possibly please, pretty please, format it so it's one page? I mean, I can cut and paste, but if you've got 24 pages and there's really you know, 11 pages of information, I got to cut and paste. The fiscal year doesn't appear on the first sheet. It splits between the second sheet. And I don't know if you're printing in a 14-inch uh, format or something, but I think everybody else is generally printing eight and a half by 11. Yeah, I mean, I've got I've got the headings on all of mine. Well, I've got the headings, and it runs over to fiscal year, and then yeah. it's four dash two, and then two seven, and the second page is the percentages. You know, it's a minor thing, but if I think we get to the practice of doing that, it's going to be a lot easier to read for everybody. We can um, just make all that. that. Was, uh, hey, Diane. That has to do with uh, us working from home. So I didn't really print that or anything. Um, mm -hmm. All I did was transfer it or download it from the system to a PDF document. Mm -hmm. That's just kind of the way it happened. Um, okay. I'm not sure why, I'm not sure why it's like that, but normally what I do is I'd print it out and then I'd run it through the the scanner at work, but I don't have right. that kind of scanner. Okay. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll get it so it's better formatted as soon as we think it back to normal. Only because we're not as astute as I'm not as astute as you with all your your numbers and stuff, so I got to piece everything together. So that was all I had. Thank you. Okay. Sure. Uh, any other, anything else for the finance director? The bill is Paul. I finally got on. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Moving on to number eight on the agenda, transfer requests. I didn't see any in the packet. So Doug, I'm assuming there are none. No. Okay. Number nine, new business. Uh, I don't, I don't have any. I don't know if anybody else would. But go, going down to number 10 correspondence, uh, just to make the board aware, I, I was sent an email today uh, from Kurt's office, the, the tax, from the tax collector through Kurt's office, a little bit of a summary on where we are with collections for the tax office to date. And I'll, I'll read what's here. In April 2019, the collections for the month were 189,000. There are a couple of days left for online payments and, and she is gonna be doing the mail on Friday for April collections because uh, the month of April obviously ends Thursday the 30th. In, in, as of April 30th, 2019, the collection rate was 98.17% and there was $791,668 left to collect on the current year taxes that were estimated of 43,864,000, and I'm, I'm rounding the number. Currently, as we sit here in 2020, with obviously two days left in the month, we're at 97.83% with 941,000 left to collect for the whole year on the taxes of 44,244,000. So we've got roughly two months in, at 940,000, not terrible, but not great. And one of the things, obviously Dana does a good job monitoring the collections. So we will see how all of this shakes out in terms of the year. Uh, again, everybody knows the drill with the virus. There have been layoffs, there have been furloughs, governments mailing out stimulus money. We do not know yet what actions, if any, have been taken to allow the tax payments starting July 1 to be done quarterly. Uh, my understanding is there's a program where applicants have to, applications have to be filled out and it has to meet certain criteria. Uh, as, of this, as of this date, I'm not sure how many, if any, have, have been filed. So we'll, we're just gonna have to see where we end up at the end of the day with the tax collections at June 30th, but we still have some time and hopefully, uh, 
the cash will, will still be coming in. Number 11 and number 12 uh, are essentially formal votes through our meeting process of what we've already decided in terms of the 2021 budget. And there are two votes. One is to vote on the 2021 budget to send to the town budget hearing. Now we've already done that affirmatively through our through our meeting on April 22nd, but I'd like to call for a vote to get to get that in the record of our of our formal monthly minutes here. So I'll take a motion to send the budget to the town hearing on May 12th, 2020. Motion to send Richard Demko. Second, second please. Ann, second. Motion. Okay, we got a motion. We've got a motion and a second. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of sending? Yeah. Oh, hi. hi. Um, I think maybe for we should vote separately on number 11 because it was a separate agenda item. Yeah, probably okay. that would be best. Okay. Going back to number 11 then, folks, I want to, essentially we're formally adopting the budget we voted on, on April 22nd. So I'll take a motion to adopt the, the budget from our April 22nd, 2020 meeting. Motion to adopt, Richard Demko. Second, please. Second, Kwame Dunbar. Second, Chuck. Okay. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye, Aye. Kwame Aye, Jim Quintella. Those voting no? Anybody abstaining? Chair votes aye. Thank you. As I, uh, yeah, we got, I got a little bit ahead of the agenda. We voted on number 12 ahead of number 11, but we fixed it. So that's, that works. Okay, um, does anybody have anything else? Uh, again, keep in mind, we do have on May 12th, uh, which I assume will also be done by Zoom, uh, the public hearing on the budget that we just adopted formally. And whatever changes might be put through or public comment or citizen comment, uh, we, will, we, will we will deal with and if it necessitates, if there are changes or if um, anything comes about with the amounts that we have to relook at them, then obviously after May 12th, we will have hopefully just one, but we will have meetings as needed to adjust the, the budget we've, we've approved. If not, uh, or even if we have to adjust it, the, the target date for approving the budget is our May 26th meeting, which is essentially our next month's regular meeting. So questions, let, yep. Let me, let me ask this, um, okay. with Richard Demko, uh, yep. with the um, public hearing, I mean, are we sending out all kinds of correspondence and things asking for public comment uh, yeah. by a questionnaire or, you know, send it in, you know, like written correspondence to kind of make this a little easier because, you know, it's, uh, I don't anticipate us having like 200 people or whatever on Zoom. Yeah, uh, uh, that would, that would be quite a bit, obviously. Uh, my understanding is it's going to be posted on the town website and the, and appropriately, um, in I believe the legal notices and whatever may come in, uh, the comments will be forwarded to us and whatever they may be at that time is what we'll end up dealing with. Okay. So somebody will just pretty much read them into the record, go down the list of... Yeah, that's what I right. anticipate. I mean, this is all new territory for all of us on this call, yeah. but I'm, anti I'm anticipating that we'll know what they are, uh, whatever numbers or line items or such have to be considered. We will consider and take whatever action we deem necessary as a board. And w whether or not that changes the budget as we know it or nothing happens to it, we'll, we'll have to see. Okay. That, that's all okay. I have. Any, anybody, Thank you. Anybody else? 
Bill, Paul Wetter was questioning, were the uh, email address probably be Rory's? Uh, I, yeah, I would, I would believe it would be, yeah, Rory at uh, town of, yeah, SeymourCT.org. My I guess, guess uh, is, as a practical matter, I could actually see the first selectman because his is a more common and probably known email address. But irrespective of whether he gets them, Rory gets them, somebody sends in a letter to the town, whatever, uh, they'll get all rounded up, my understanding is, and then we'll get them for consideration and action if necessary. So the citizenry, the citizenry will have an opportunity to come, and as they should, because they're the ones that are, you know, going to be responsible for approving the budget uh, in terms of, you know, I should say, not so much approving with, through a referendum, but they're the ones that are gonna to have to be living with the budget. And we haven't raised the mill rate, so it'll be the, the fifth year in a row where it hasn't gone up, which is a good thing and considering the economics that we're in now. So, but by the same token, we have a duty to take into consideration any concerns or comments that they have and act accordingly. So having said that, Anyone else have anything at all for the meeting? If not, I will uh, call for a motion to adjourn. Betty Ampec, motion to adjourn. Amco, second. Discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 No, anybody votes no? Abstains? Chair <laughs> votes aye. Thanks everybody for coming and we'll uh, see you all on the 12th. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank